welcome back so today i am filming in my bathroom because i am doing a requested video for my skincare routine so i just got finished doing my makeup and all that good stuff so i'm going to be showing you how i remove the makeup take care of my skin after 3,000 pounds of makeup so let's get started first thing i do obviously is remove my makeup so I use my little cotton pads and I use my uh, K-Beauty Remove um, Wipe the Day Away Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I don't have uh, a cruelty-free makeup remover, so if you guys know of a good one that you recommend, please let me know in the comments below. Um, because, uh, yeah, this is all I have right now, and, um, I'm trying to, yeah, not purchase anything that's not cruelty-free. And then I go in with, to cleanse, and I use the Triotica Asin Oil Cut Cleansing Cleanser, and I use... I use this, which is a erasure face cloth. It is microfiber and it is super, super soft. And it doesn't tug or pull on your skin or anything. So it's great for removing makeup. They are washable, so you don't have to worry about using like other stuff. So I really like this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go wash my face. <laughs> and now that my face is completely clean, I like to go in twice a week with a microdermabrasion scrub. And this is from One Love Organics. It's actually a brand here in Georgia. Um, I went to an event with Style Hall sometime last year and I got to try this out and I really like this. Um, I'll have their link below, you can check them out. This is their One Love Organics Brand New Day Microdermabrasion Scrub and Mask. And I really love that this is just, it's just a powder. And I don't want to like dump it out, but it's just a powder. And you mix a little bit in with water in your hand. And then you can apply it on your face, rub it in. And it just, it saves a lot of time and waste and all that kind of stuff and it's all organic so you know that it is you know good for your skin and it's gonna do a lot of good so i'm gonna go ahead and use this so it has this little shaker and it smells so nice and i just kind of dump a little bit in my hand like that maybe a little bit more mix it in with a little bit of water and apply it to my face kind of rub it in for about a minute and then rinse it off now is the time that i like to go in with any kind of mask or anything like that to help my skin um right now my skin is pretty good for me so i'm not gonna go in with any mask but one that i really love is the um freeman's charcoal and black sugar polishing mask it's like a duo mask. It's really awesome. You just put it on and of course it gets rid of blackheads, but when you rinse it off, it also acts like a scrub. So I really like that. Um, so I highly recommend it and it's so cheap and it's cruelty free. So yes. Um, <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and apply all my serums and things, I guess. Um, this is what I put on next. It is the Triotica Asin Talk Toner. I love this stuff so much. Almost out and I'm going to have to get some soon. So I just put not even a whole pump and put it in my hands and then put it on my face. And this is just to tone my skin. I do have a few little breakouts from wearing makeup. All day yesterday for a gig that I was doing I was doing makeup for um, a photo shoot so I wore makeup all day forgot to take it off until late late at night and uh, yeah that's 
what these bad boys are for, but we, we go fix it. Now I'm going to add a moisturizer. I have the Pure Echo Bamboo Cold Water Moist Cream from Tony Moly. This thing is amazing. Like, I recently got it and I'm kind of obsessed. And it's this really nice, thick... Oh, it's so nice. And I just take a dab and just apply it. And then... Just blend it in. Blend it in like it's foundation. <laughs> I'm, I'm exhausted, you guys. I feel like I've been up for two days. So, this seriously is so nice on the skin. It's really hydrating, really great for sensitive skin because my skin is hella sensitive. And even though the microdermabrasion um, that I use twice a week isn't that harsh on my skin, I really ha I have really sensitive skin, so I like to kind of soothe my skin with this moisturizer. And then I like to spot treat any acne spots that I have. And this, I know it's not cruelty free. I don't think it is. I don't believe it is like 98% sure it's not cruelty free but this is so good and it's like seriously my ride or die it is the oxy maximum action spot treatment I like live by this stuff because it's so good it lasts forever and it does the job like all other acne treatment either doesn't work for me or it burns my skin and I know this is like maximum action, but it doesn't burn my skin, but it does what it's supposed to do. So, I don't know. I'm like torn because I want to be completely cruelty free, but I love this so much. I don't know. If you have suggestions for a spot treatment that's cruelty free, please let me know. Ew, that was gross. And I always put some on my chin because I always have acne coming through my chin. So, yeah. And that is my skincare routine. Um, I usually, like I said, I usually do everything every single day except the microdermabrasion scrub and the mask unless my skin is feeling hella battered and bruised. Like if I wear makeup for a couple of days straight, I will do like a mask a couple days in a row just because I kick face the hell out of my face and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's not good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit more talkative and stuff, but I really hope you guys enjoy. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and click the little notification bell to be notified of every single upload that I put here for my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.